Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode in Thimbleweed Park where we left off um, We've done quite a lot of stuff uh, We've been with the clown in a uh, private um, meeting I should say uh, with a pizza guy And we got these two things out of it um, Not quite sure just yet what they are and what we can do with them but um I'm here with Dolores on the uh, hotel because I have a suspicion that maybe this uh, floppy disk can be used uh, on the computers in the uh, Thimblecon. Maybe I'm not quite sure just yet, but um, yeah, let's just uh, get on with it and see what happens. Okay, so let's have us go up here. Okay, so um, pew, I pew, see th pew. there's this computer here, but um, not sure if uh, we can do much with it uh, because she's not uh, able to talk with uh, the guy here. Let's try to pew, use pew, this pew. with this. The disc is in the wrong format. It's in the wrong format still, so we're not able to use that disc any whatsoever. Hmm. Also, there's uh, this foil uh, brick here that I'm not quite sure what we can do with it. Mm. Let's see, uh, what can we do here? Maybe we can do something here, I doubt. Let's head out to uh, the hotel with uh, Franklin. The only thing he needs to do now is to escape to the afterlife. Um, But at the moment, I'm not sure he's going to be able to... We may need to do something with the crystal here, Blue but... Blue was um, never my favorite color. Not hey, sure when. new ghost, I told you not to bu Can we please have the crystal? He's not going to let me. Hypothetically, blah, blah, blah. Bye, okay, Xavier. so this is the Sorry same stuff you. we're uh, seeing here. Um... Hmm... Actually, let's hand on back to Dolores. What I remember is that in order for us to uh, use the uh, device in the laboratory there, um, we needed a we need to find the book. Um, and in order for us to find that book, the only place I can think of is the actually the actual library uh, in the mansion mansion. So let's head them down there. Do let's see if this is really a thing. Uh, let's use this. I see there uh -huh. is a manual on the SR01 security system. It's in section 2.1. Section 2.1. That means it's on the second floor. I'm, yes, I'm at the it. staircase. Should I use it? Oh no, never mind. This takes us to uh, floor uh, three. So we're gonna have to go back down. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, so the uh, second floor is actually the uh, second bookshelf up here. That I think we're gonna have to go through here. Yeah. So it's 2.1. So we have to go all the way back. Come on, Dolores. Come on. There we go. So this is 2.1. Let's see, computing, electronics, Madame. program S1R1, I think this is it. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Uh, look. Okay, programming the SR01, Chuck Edmund. The SR1 security robot is the most aggressive and secure robot for sentry and protection duties. It can guard anything from simple rooms to large factories with the complete uh, confidence of a pilotron tube. Advanced forward, backward and side facing radar provides uh, complete coverage of the surrounding area. The SR-01 has been custom programmed to ignore three laws of robotics and it is extremely dangerous if used uh, incorrectly. It is advised that a complete course in SR01 certification is obtained before att attempting maintenance. 
The Easy Access Remote Jumper programming box can be used to customize the type of guard duty you require. Any mode from passive monitoring, scheduled, deterrence to seek and destroy is available. Every two to three weeks, the robot should be shut down for maintenance by ju uh, jumpering the red jumper at H34, the green jumper at F23, and the blue jumper at C34. Aha, uh -huh. so I think this is uh, the steps that we need to follow in order to uh, make the robot stop and uh, allow us to progress through the factory. Awesome! So we found the book? Great! Uh, maintenance should only be performed by a qualified and certified tech. By reading this manual, you waive any right to sue Pilothronics for death or dis uh, dismemberment. Awesome, so let's, uh, let's head on back to the factory and try to use these codes here. Now I can reprogram those guard robots. There we go. Uh, let's program the guard robots and access the factory. Great. Come on. Also, what's with this door? It's locked, and there's no handle. Hmm. Maybe let's try to use the keys. It doesn't no. work in that. How about this one? There's no keyhole okay. and no handle. It's probably gonna be a uh, door we would be able to uh, open up from the inside, maybe. Do. Go inside. Okay. Go back down. Ha! This looks so good. I'm really glad these guys made this, made this game. I really love it. Um, look. Warning. There we go. SR01 robots in patrol. Uh, before we look, let's uh, look at the book again. Uh, look at. So, red jumper, H34. Now I can reprogram okay. those guards. Warning. SR01 H robots in patrol mode. 34. Danger. Danger. Okay. That jumper board is for an SR. Um. Green F23. Now it can reprogram those guard robots. Danger. Green Danger. SR01 robots in attack. Okay. And blue C34. Now it can reprogram. Danger. Danger. SR01 robots. SR01 robots oh. in maintenance mode. Well, that was easy. It is now safe to enter factory. Awesome. That should disable the robots. Perfect. It looks all clear now. Yep, looks good. What the heck is this? This looks like a robot. Why would Uncle Chuck need to make a human-looking robot AI? Jeez, I'm starting to believe right now that uh, actually, um, oh, there's speckle dust. That um, all those characters in the town, like. Uh, the sheriff, uh, the manager, the hotel manager, the uh, corner, uh, they may resemble, they may look like uh, Chuck, but I think they are actually robots. Yep. And probably not only, um, not only uh, those characters, probably some of other, uh, some other of them are robots. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see. What was Uncle Chuck doing before he died? That doesn't seem to work. Why are all these computers on? That doesn't seem to work. They are producing something. They are definitely doing something bad. I have a feeling that an evil AI is has taken over. Ooh, some more speck of dust. How many do we have? How many do we have left, actually? Four left! Oh my god, come on, let's do this. We can do this. <laughs> Look. These computers shouldn't be powered on. Use? That no. doesn't seem to work. Push? I can't pull. No. I can't push that. Hmm, okay. Okay. Three more. Virus installed. Installing virus. Oh, if you look at it... Uh, what they're doing here, these are all, um, uh, what I call the uh, boot disks, and I have one. Hmm. Virus installed. 
probably may need to put a disk in here in the system so we can get a copy of the virus or maybe put something on this and that we can put in the factories to destroy it. Interesting. Let's look at it. A virus? Uncle Chuck must have been trying to cause damage to something. Yeah, Uncle Chuck doesn't seem that uh, good anymore, does it? Carry on. Another speck of dust. Oh my god. We're so close. I think we need two more. Uh, what is it? Oh god, we need two more. Please, please. Let me find them. I'm so curious what they do when we have uh, when we have all the speck of dust. Uh, let's check that out. That picture calendar. looks familiar. Kind of like Thimbleweed Park without any buildings. Hmm. How can we use this? Okay. Mm -hmm. There's so many places here to uh, drink water. Maybe that's a reminder for us to drink some water. <laughs> Water. All right, all right, all right. Uh, can we use this with that? No. I don't want to use it with that. I don't think we have anything else to uh, to use the water with. Um. So, oh, this is the exit door. Open. Yeah. So this is the uh, back door I was saying that we need to open from the inside in order to access. Okay. Let's leave that open then. Um, it's go locked. Inside here, maybe using the uh, factory key. No, it won't how about fit this there. One? Yes. <gasps> oh my God! We just found the um, the CCTV camera room and volume two of the journal. Wow! This is so spooky. Uh. Yeah. Great protection from UVA and UVB. Very important for pirates. Can we pick this up? Yes, we can. Uh, can we use the uh, wrapped the that coil with this? To work. No, what a this great this. That no, what a this. great that looks like a that it's a T. No, go back, please. Uh, I use did it. I reprogrammed those robots. This with this? That no. doesn't. It's a token. That it's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax use players this? exist in this town. Oh. Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. I loved it, but not so sure about the ending. Uh, we can uh, wear the hat? Seriously? Oh, we can also take it off. That doesn't seem Use to work. Use the hat? No. Hmm. Interesting. Let's wear it then. Uh, I don't think this glass has been washed. Don't matter. Let's just pick it up. Uh, let's fill it with water. Uh, okay, no, never mind. I just wanted to use the glass with water. Use the glass with water. Better not. Might remove the prints. Ah. Okay, um. We don't gust. Oh, you know what? I think the uh, reason we are collecting all the dust is to actually put it inside here. Huh. Interesting. Uh, in this case, let's have you give all the dust to Agent Ray. What am I going to do with a pile of You'll dust? You'll see. Uh, you give all the dust to Agent Ray. Okay. What am I going to do with a pile uh, of dust? Let's take her with us. Come on. We need two more specks of dust. Where can we find it? Come on. I know we can do it. <laughs> uh. Okay, go inside there, go in here. Awesome, uh, you. I hate this yeah, town. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, give the dust to Agent Ray. What am I going to Let's do with a pile this. of dust? Let's try this, use the dust with this. That d I still have the brush, but no more fingerprint powder, and it's missing the fingerprint tape. Huh. Uh, can we have you giving the, um, glass to Agent Ray? Like I don't have enough to carry okay, already. How about you use this with this? There's no more fingerprint powder mm -hmm. left. So we don't have any more finger uh, fingerprint powder left. Okay, uh, that theory is not that theory is not gonna work, done. Uh, let's check this out. I think I've seen this painting. Some this Oof. painting. This painting no. is firmly nailed to the wall. Please insert terminal boot disk. Oh, okay. 
So uh, we have the boot disk. Let's check out these things. Uncle Chuck was really creepy. Uncle Chuck hmm. was really. Uncle Chuck uh, was really creepy. Let's take the journal. Creepy. Let's have a read of the journal. Who was he watching? Entry three six six eight. It is true. A lot makes sense now. Where is Dolores's mother? Interesting. Entry five one twenty nine. Been spending more and more time in the lab with the AI and our text adventure. It's unlocking some interesting mysteries. My previous assumptions about it and the world seems to be correct. Entry 5201. More research and falling deeper into the rabbit hole. Odd things I never considered before are making sense. Thimbleweed Park has 80 residents but 3000 people in the phone book. It didn't make sense until I considered the impossible. Entry 5201. Oh my god. It is terrifying. Entry 5202. The AI says there's only um, one way. But I've started to suspect it. It is telling me the truth. Entry 5203. We are being watched. I am being watched. The AI is not what it says it is. What? Entry 5205. I am now convinced the AI is not an AI at all, but something else, something from a different world, the same world the people from the phone book are from. Entry 52045. <laughs> I think he's actually, um, I think he's actually understanding that uh, he's part of the game, a part of the uh, simulation itself. <laughs> and the other uh, people in the phone book he's talking about are the people in the real world, maybe? Let's see. I created a small Tron tube that lives deep in my text adventure and, and it is uh, uncoupled from us. It keeps counting up and up. We must be resetting. Entry 5205. I need to go deeper. The deeper I go, the less they can watch me. They aren't paying attention to what happens below. They are only watching at the surface. Fools! <laughs> 5205 Franklin keeps uh, trying to get the factory started to make stuffed animals I can't let this happen my world will be discovered I need more power reverse radio transmissions might do it entry 5201 Franklin has been taken care of I feel bad if he was my real brother what? oh my god Entry 5202. Franklin called a foreign investor to come and evaluate the factory for a possible investment. The AI says I need to stop this. I don't know if I can trust the AI. Maybe I can. Entry 5203. I have a plan to deal with the foreign investor. I'll set the gears in motion. I can't tell if everything is uh, unraveling or coming together. 5201. Another reset. I can feel them now, even without the uh, uncoupled tube. Entry 5202. The pilotron machine is done. The text adventure is perfect. I don't think they noticed. I can hide there. But before I go, I need to leave Dolores some clues. If anyone can figure it out, it's here. What? Entry 5203. This has to stop. There is only one way. I'm sorry. Ignorance is truly bliss. If only I had stayed ignorant. If I'd just let Franklin make his stuffed toys, we'd be rich and ignorant, living in... Living in... I can't think about this. Entry 5204. This is my last journal entry. I'd say more, but they can read this. I've hidden the clues all around Thimbleweed Park. I need to be careful they are not noticed by them. They need to think it was their idea. Dolores will see through it. Please, Dolores, be as smart and resourceful as I know you are. Goodbye. Holy. Man, this is getting so weird. Um. Well. Let's use the, um. The disc then. It's booting up. See what this goes. Dolores, I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck? Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Wow. Pillowtron? You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? 
Not just the Pillotron, but the Pillotron 3000 TM. And I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck, you have lost your mind. No, Dolores, I have gained a mind, a more powerful Whoa, mind. Whoa, I think the AI actually took control to of them. Or what creation. the heck is happening? Join me, Dolores, before it's too late. I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> oh my god. Let the games begin. Oh my god. Um, I saw another speck of dust here, but we cannot pick it up because it's uh, hidden by the uh, menu. Uh, we'll come back in here later on, I think, and try to take it. Wow, let's uh, let's see what the uh, notebook says. Okay, find out what happened to Dad. Go deeper into the factory to find out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Collect two more specks of dust. Whoa, this is insane. Um, let's try... Oh, what she gotta do? Steal the secret to the pillow factory AI. Go deeper into the factory to steal the secret of AI. Collect two more. Okay. We use this. No. I don't understand computers. This sec. This looks like a um, trap door that we can go in the basement somewhere, but it doesn't seem like we can access it by any uh, way. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, find evidence that Dad didn't start the factory fire. Go deeper into the factory to find evidence to clear my father. Um, what I want to do is meet with all of the uh, all of our heroes here. See if we can give the um, the books, uh, the journals actually, uh, to Reyes. Oh, yeah, oh, we can. I love carrying stuff. Uh, where's the first one? Give this to Reyes as well. There we go. Happy to help. Let's use him to uh, look at this. Let's go through these real fast. See if anything changed. Uh -huh. Aha! So he does. Look at this as well. Now he's gonna find out that his dad was actually uh, killed by the robots. No? He has nothing to say? Okay. Okay. Go deeper, collect more. Hmm. Hmm. Go deeper in the factory to find my prototype doll. Okay. So no, no luck uh, with that. Let's take uh, the clown this way. Do -do. Ah, that's pick of dust. I really need it. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna have to do with the, uh, why do we have the hat on? Hmm. Do. Look at this. So this doesn't... I did it! I reprogrammed... Um, okay. Uh, so there's this blast door here. Hmm. Use blast door. Look at it. It's locked with a foolproof electronic locking mechanism. Okay. We're gonna have to go inside here somehow. Um, can we follow the pipes here maybe? Let's see. Uh, not really. Uh, the pipes don't seem to take us um, anywhere. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Oh. That Another spoke of dust! We are so close. We need one more. One more speck of dust. Um what if uh No oh. need to change any no need to so change she's... anything. The robots are now in maintenance mode and totally, totally okay. safe. Hmm. Not sure what we need to do next. 
Well, since we're back here, uh, before we go on any further, I have a feeling that the next episode is actually going to be the uh, last episode. Uh, since we're so close to the ending. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again in the uh, next episode. Hopefully the last one. Uh, okay, bye!